Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on another video and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hopefully you will consider subscribing. And if you're not, you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back again. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my new chore system. We did have an older method, but I decided to update it since I did do a new family command center. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it all works, how I put it together, uh, the template that you can download, and also some new stickers that I have as well that are gonna go along with this new chore system. All right, so this is my new family command center. As you can see, it's really nice. It's very simple. I did do a video on my channel, which I'll link above or below in the description box. And so I'm gonna be walking you through this entire setup. And so if you wanna see that, then make sure to stick around. All right, first and foremost, most of you know that I do use this uh, personal planner calendar. Um, it's awesome. We've been using it for the past about a month now. I will also link above a walkthrough or a flip through of this planner just in case you're interested in how the whole thing looks. Um, but this is the current week. And so, of course, I've got to decorate with stickers and everything, uh, make it look cute. And so this is everything we've got going on this week. And so I decided that I'm going to add some chores to this calendar as well. That way, since it is going to be in my family command center, and it's a centralized location for everyone to see what needs to be done and um, things we need to do and we have going on during the week, then I thought I'd add the chores on here as well. So this week we did actually start. We implemented the whole new chore system and it worked out exceptional. Um, so we're gonna continue moving forward with that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I set it all up. I also did pick up some new sticky notes. And so I'm going to be using certain colors to coordinate with each person. And so let's go ahead and start. All right, so once you figure out the calendar system that you wanna use, um, I suppose you can just put it all in your planner as well. Um, I do have stickers that I'm gonna be showing you as well that can go inside of your planner. Um, but again, we're using this as a calendar. So let me go ahead and show you the stickers real quick. Uh, these are new to my shop. And so these are specific for chores. The first one here is just a list of chores. So it's got bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, dining room, entry, foyer, office, hall, stairs, trash day, and then it's got three blank templates uh, the next one here is just all blank templates and those are here as well there's only three of them here but this is an entire page and then lastly I wanted to include homework which isn't really a chore but I like to write down my son's homework for the week sometimes he kind of uh, doesn't keep up with it and I can kind of stay on top of him so I did make a whole sheet of homework as well and so those are the three stickers that uh, are recently added to the shop to kind of go with this whole chore system um, and then the exciting part is you guys know I love printing on post-it notes I'm gonna move this out the way and so this whole chore system is going to be a post-it note chore system which I thought was super cool I do have another video on my channel with how to print on the smaller post-it notes but we're gonna be using I think these are one and a half by two uh, inch post-it notes and so um, of course I'll link that video above if you want to see how to print on the smaller post-it notes I do have a budget uh, post-it note template in my shop as well to go along with those smaller post-it notes um, so of course I'll put that uh, in the description box just in case you're interested in seeing that so again we're using these smaller size post-it notes and so they fit perfectly in the box and so I went ahead and printed the template out um, this is the actual blank template where you're gonna put the post-it notes on and then these are the different um, designs and so you can print them out either way you can either print them out like this so that way you can see where you want each color to go based on the child or you can just print out the template if you know you just want this row pink and this row purple or whatever or you don't really care um, so either way so I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna use it this way so that way I can see uh, what I need to do for each child and what color I want on each box. So again, the stickers from my shop uh, are the exact same. And so these are all the same here, except you've got more boxes here at the bottom and I included homework in the post-it note template. And then again, that's the blank one. And then this is the homework note template that's here at the bottom. And so I tried to give you a lot. Um, we like to keep up with chores around here and we're trying to be a little more um, organized with that. And so I'm hoping that this is a step in the right direction. Um, side note, <laughs> that did not last long with my nails, y'all. It's too much hats off to people who have those long nails and try to plan um, I went ahead and cut mine because to me it wasn't working out I was getting frustrated trying to hit the keys on my keyboard and it just wasn't working out so I was like you know what we're cutting these nails down so I like this better I can close my 
<laughs> my fists without worrying about a nail poking me and they still look cute and so we'll keep it this way until they fall off so that's that I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still gonna be doing a video on my channel with um, how I do my nails eventually so um, I want to go ahead and pull out the colors I'm gonna use as you can see with personal planner they have every person color coordinated so miss Addison is purple and then of course I try to stick with that same color scheme when I'm planning out so as you can see all Addison stuff is purple Malachi stuff is a, a darker blue I guess um, hub stuff is a lighter blue and then I'm pink and so that's the same way with the sticky notes so it'll be pink and then I did um, these are post-it notes here well, let me show you the difference. So I bought some cheaper post-it notes on Amazon. Of course, I'll link it below if you guys want to know what, exactly which ones I have. Um, these you pull up this way and then the post-it note ones, you know, they're the long way. So just take note of that. Um, to me, it doesn't matter. So when I place it on the actual template, I'm going to place it that way for the ones that pull up like that. And then for the ones that pull up like that, I can just put them the, the standard way. So this is everyone's color. And so I don't need these, um, but it did come with various colors. So you've got options there. All right. So I just wanted to show you the colors I wanted to use for each person. All right, so now that you have your colors chosen um, and, you know, with Addison, what's probably going to happen is, well, what is going to happen, she can't read yet, so she's not going to be able to read what her chores are. So this is her chore page. I forgot to show you this. So this is her chore page. That way she can just see it and it's, she's more visual. And then we also have a chore system. Uh, a part of the chore system is where uh, the kids can earn money based on chores that they do. And this will probably be more so for Malachi too. Um, but Addison's at an age right now where she's doing chores and so um, I can't do something for one child and not the other child because she's like mommy where's my chores because we did it this past week for um, Malachi and um, it worked out great and every time she looks at that board because it's her height she can see it all she's like uh, where's my chores so I know this will never repeat itself you know she's never going to ask about chores in the future when she becomes Malachi's age she's not going to want to do chores so I got to capitalize on those moments when she actually you know wants to be involved in certain things so so um, purple is going to be all on this sheet, which is perfect. I also did pick up some white sticky notes, uh, which are awesome. These are white. So you could, I suppose, use white, um, which would make the black pop. But I'm going to use purple only because um, her column is purple. So the next step in this process is to go ahead and put your sticky notes on the page. And so let's go ahead and start that. So in this particular case, the chores here above really uh, are for Malachi. Um, I have my own separate chores as well. So I'm probably going to add some here for myself because these are blank or not here. These are homework um, because these are blank so I can write in certain things that I want to do. And then I also remember here that I have my stickers here so I can also uh, just take that peel a sticker up and put it in my planner and that may work out better. Um, so we'll we'll see how everything works out for this past week. It'll kind of be like our test run with um, what or test run for me in terms of my chores um, since we've already implemented this for Malachi so he should be getting used to using it by now so I'm gonna go ahead and pull blue well actually let's see yeah he's this blue and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up all of the spots here including homework and they're really easy you're just gonna follow the box the lines of the box and then I just kind of put my finger down that way I can get it lined up and they're gonna go inside the box so you're not gonna put it exactly on the line you're gonna put it like right inside the box so let's go ahead and fill this page up with blue and then here I'm gonna use for myself so I'll fill that up with pink and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step Okay, just a side note as well, the advantage of having the post-it notes that are this direction is that when you feed it through the printer, it won't get snagged. So what I'll have to do is put a little washi or some tape or something along the side. Otherwise, it's going to get snagged in the printer because the printer feeds this way. And so these I would recommend more so than these, but these were cheaper. So I don't mind doing that extra step uh, to save a little money. All right, so I've got all the stickies on this first page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some washi, see if I can just lay down those edges, and then we're gonna go ahead and feed it through the printer. 
All right, I'm just gonna use this yellow washi tape because I don't use a lot of yellow in my spreads. So this should do just fine. All right, so that page is ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this page. And again, this is all purple. And I think I'm going to do this page green. So actually I'll be pulling this green um, as well. And so I think that's gonna be perfect. So let me go ahead and grab purple from Miss Addison and um, go ahead and do the same thing. And you don't have to print these out every week. This can just be a one-time thing. And the good thing about sticky notes is that, of course, you can reuse them. So you don't have to print these out every week unless you just want to. Um, I may only because I have a little checkbox here in the corner on these. And Addison's going to want to check it off. So um, I may have to print these out every week. So or at least for her, maybe not for Malachi. What you can also do with these, if you don't want to print it on a sticky note, you can just print this page like this and just cut it out. So it's up to you. You've got options there. Or if you've got sticker paper, then you can print it on sticker paper and just cut around it. Um, so it's up to you with how you want to um, use them. Use this template. All right, so that is done. And so now we can go ahead and do the urn ones. And again, those are going to be in green. So I'm just going to fill this page up with these and then we're ready to print. All right, so now I need to put my washi on this sheet and the one that I just did for Addison. So let me do that real quick. And you really wanna get it as close to the edge as possible because you don't want it, anything to print on it. And again, you won't have to do this step if you get the correct post-it notes and not try to be cheap like me. <laughs> so yeah, but I don't mind doing this extra step. And you may not either. So it's just all a matter of preference. And you're going to keep these templates afterwards. So you don't have to keep reprinting the template over and over again. So once you're done printing that particular um, week, don't throw this away. So that way you don't have to print it again for next week. And I just keep it in an old planner um, that fits this. I actually keep it in the, the deluxe cover inside of it with my budget template and some other templates I have. Okay, so I'm all done with um, putting the sticky notes on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run it through the, the printer and I'll come back and show you once that's done. All right, so I went ahead and printed everything out. And so this is a prime example, just to show you really quickly, of why you want to get this as close to the edge as possible. Because I guess I was rushing through the green one and I was rushing through the purple one. And so some of the dotted line of the design came off on the washi tape, but this one didn't because I took my time with it. So um, either you wanna just be very cautious of that or aware of that or just get the other sticky notes and that's what I think I probably will do going forward these are much easier you don't have to put washi it saves you a step and you can avoid what I just experienced so I am okay with it because again I think I'm gonna be printing these out every week um, so anyways let's go ahead and pull these up and then I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna be using them on my calendar all right so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the washi up and that way I have should be easier you see what I mean so it pulled off some of that the um, dotted line can you see that onto the washi instead of actually on the post-it note so let's just go ahead and get this up simple enough right and then let's get the next one up and I like using a thinner washi too because that way it's easier to pull up and it doesn't snag on anything. Cause sometimes with that thicker washi, it's almost like tape. I mean, it is tape, but it's almost just as difficult as regular tape to pull up. See, isn't that cool how everything turned out? I love printing on sticky notes. It's like my new obsession. So that's done. So let's go ahead and pull up the ones to earn.
and you might be fine without putting the washi on there. I just put it on there as a precaution because I just feel like, you know, I don't want anything to get messed up and I'd rather just be safe. But um, it could work without it. All right, so I got all of the pages done. Ooh, uh-oh. And to me, they look super awesome, vibrant. Um, and I think the kids are gonna really, well, let me take that back. I was gonna say they're really gonna appreciate this, but they don't appreciate that we do. So, <laughs> but I appreciate this. So, um, but I think everything, look, everything looks really, really good. And so next thing is you can leave them on here and just as you get ready to use them, you can just pull them up. What I may do is cut around this, the size of my happy planner and keep it in my planner. And then that way I could just pull from it when I need to. So that is actually a pretty good idea. Um, then punch it and just keep it in your planner. You can do that. Or you can um, stick it in your family command center and then that way you can pull it when needed or just store it wherever you feel um, is best for you. So let me go ahead and pull the calendar out. And so this is how I would use them. Again, we do have these stickers here, so you could technically pull a sticker and put it on each kid's spot. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because I like the sticky note method better because I just feel like it's more functional and you're able to kind of move things around. And so basically what you would do is pull whatever the chore is, whatever the sticky note is that you wanna use, and then just put it on whatever person's name for whatever date you want it. And so if I wanted to say Addie's gonna do the dishes on Monday, and um, these boxes aren't exactly the, the right size of a sticky note, but, um, but they work out pretty well. Then you literally just put it there. And so how I do Malachi's is I stagger it. And so it'll be like, you know, for instance, you know, it'd be like, this is Monday. And then the next day would be staggered right below it like this. So he can see that there's another chore that needs to be done for Tuesday. You can kind of get a sneak peek of what that is. Oh, I'm, I'm obsessed with getting things lined up. So he can kind of see and then he can pull as, ne as needed. And actually what I'll probably do is start from the bottom up. So that way when he's pulling, like if I kept it like this, when he pulled Mondays off, then he would probably, Tuesday may, it may interfere with it. So I'm thinking I'll put Tuesday, you know, I'll start from Sunday and work my way up and then I'll put this on top of this. And so that way when he pulls Monday, he can pull Monday without pulling Tuesday. So that's my plan. And so this is how we're doing our chores. So that's pretty much it guys. This is exactly how we're gonna be doing our chores going forward. And if I need to go back to the old system, I will, but I think I really like this new system and I'm hoping that um, they'll make things flow a little bit more smoothly. So again, when you're done, if you want to just you know put them back on the sheet, you can, um, up to you, you know, but you do have that as an option. You can just kind of put it back in the box until you're ready to use it again for the next week. And I do have a place on the Family Command Center where the kids can put these once they're done or they can toss them since I'm going to be reprinting them again for the next week. But they know um, all about how I want things done. But I'm just kind of letting you know what your options are. And so these are the three pages again. These are going to be the regular chores here, standard chores, um, as well as uh, I'm going to use these pink ones down here for myself. Um, next week I may print them on the white sticky notes because I think that's just a more of a cleaner look. You know, I'm on, on this whole neutral thing now and then these are Miss Addison's chores um, again they're very uh, they have a picture um, that way she can just look at the picture and she can see exactly what she needs to do for that day and then lastly we do have chores to earn and so what you'll do is you'll just write in whatever the chores are on this list here and then you'll write the dollar amount down here as far as how much they earn for doing that chore so that is it guys um, let me quickly just show you how um, everything looks on my family command center I think it's gonna work out really well and so this is how my family command center looks with everything all put together I am going to be doing a uh, walkthrough video of exactly how I'll organize everything here I'm still making some tweaks here and there um, but this is the calendar this is where it goes and where it stays and when I plan for the week I just pull it down and then I put it back up super easy and then I go ahead and add the kids chores and everything like that 
that's pretty much all for this video make sure to comment below and let me know what you think of this whole chore system of course I'll put a link in the description box if you're interested in um, learning how you can grab one of these and also the stickers from my shop so thanks guys again for watching this video hopefully you will consider subscribing to my channel and also liking this video so thanks again and I'll see you next time